Have you ever thought of how quilting affects the rest of your life? Hi, I'm Roberta from Quilt Crafters Corner, and today I want to talk a little bit about that quilting balance in our lives. So I received an email from a friend, and she was talking about two Japanese words that she has been contemplating on lately. The first one is ikigai, and the second one is nagomi. And these words are Japanese, and they talk about life balance, and they talk about passion and purpose. They also talk about the balance in your life and how that affects your life. I've thought, I've, I read this and I thought about it and I started thinking about balance and passion and purpose. And the more I thought about it, the more it kind of struck me that one of the things that I absolutely love is to inspire people to think outside the creative box a little, to think of things a little different and maybe do things a little different and how that affects the balance in your life. Now, I know when I sit down and I start to make something new, create something new in my quilt, quilting, I start to become very calm and very peaceful and very just kind of going with the flow of the creativity. Now, in doing that, everything else kind of evens out in my life. And I thought, well, that's an interesting idea. So I started doing a little bit more research on this Ikigai and this Nagomi. Now, this is the Japanese version of what Ikigai means. Iki in Japanese means life and guy describes value or worth. And I thought, well, that's an interesting idea. And then Nagomi means balance, well-being. So I started thinking about all of the quilts that I've seen in, at Houston at the International Quilt Show from the Japanese quilters. And I started to appreciate a little bit more about what this means and how they view it in their lives. Now there's two quilts in particular. One that was, I believe it was from 2016 at Houston. And I'll put a picture of it up on the screen for you to see. And it's a tree with all these little petals and blossoms that she very carefully, painstakingly put on this tree and it's a spectacular quilt and it has some interesting cutouts in it in the quilt itself and the way that she treated that application and these were all things that she painstakingly thought about and put into this quilt to balance it and the balance in the tree itself is really a fascinating thing now I looked back at this picture and I thought at the time, I did not appreciate how much work actually went into it. But then I thought about it. It's not really work. It was her passion. It was her joy. It was something that she loved to do. Now, if these are topics that you want to hear more about, please like the video and subscribe. That tells me that I should do more videos like this. And if you like ideas like this, thinking outside the box, I have a charter member stitch coming up. So if, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. Now let's get back to the second quilt that I saw. And this is for the upcoming Houston Quilt Show. And it's going to be November 2nd, I believe. I think 2nd through the 6th, I think is what it is. And this one I was really taken with because she had spent a lot of time doing ribbon embroidery in, of flowers and they were circles. And well, I'll put a picture up on the screen for you to see. And then I started looking at this a little bit more carefully. You know, I kind of made it, enlarged it so I could see it and appreciate it a little better. And I looked at each one and it was all painstakingly done again, very, very meticulous. 
And it wasn't until I read the description that it said this is 12 inches by 12 inches and I went, oh my gosh. <laughs> now talk about painstaking and actually doing it. But then thinking about it, this is about balance again. This is about finding that flow and working with crafting her ideas out of her head and putting it absolutely into a quilt. So I want to impress upon you the fact that your ideas are valued and they give you life balance. And these are so important because that life balance carries over into everything else that you're doing in your life. Take the time to appreciate these moments where you're creating something from your own ideas and in, incorporate them into your quilts, making that your purpose, your balance in your life and your passion. These are all things that we're very passionate about in our lives. Sometimes we express them better in our quilts than we can in words. I know I have trouble putting things into words but I can express them so much easier in my quilts. Now, I want to encourage you to try new ideas and new things. And like I said, I have a membership coming up. It's called Stitch. We're looking for charter members. If new ideas that you'd like to get into your quilts is something you're passionate about, please check the link in the description below and I'd love to join you into our Stitch community. So if these are interesting ideas for you, I'd love for you to try them out. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Is there something you'd love to get into a quilt and just quite haven't figured out how to do it? Thanks again for watching, and I will see you again next time.